Welcome to the new report for Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Guess what? We're in Victoria and we're back in lockdown. And Daniel Andrews isn't even around, the, you know, with his boot, his jack boot on us. He's got his deputy. So, you know, we're going to report my thoughts and, and uh, all the various unusual facts that surround this uh, latest lockdown in Victoria. Stick around and listen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain. We're back in lockdown here in Victoria, so uh, it's almost like the yearly lockdown. Um, you know, around this time, it's a, it's about a year since the last three months one. Uh, I don't think we're in for a three months one. We're, we're telling us that the new lockdown is is only going to be a week long. So I just wanted to talk about many of the various um, unusual, uh, uh, you know, questions and disparities that have arisen. Um, from the situation. First of all, if the incubation period is 14 days, I don't, I'm not sure what good a seven-day lockdown would do, but it does appear that it's, a, it's from a small cluster. Now, where did this cluster come from? India. Yes, India, ladies and gentlemen. Thank God for that. I mean, there's been uh, mutation and double mutations apparently going on there. Um, so, you know, maybe we've got the India strain. We don't know. I mean, basically all we ever, you know, all we rely on um, for our information is big media about what's going on. And as we all know, that's mostly lies. So we, we don't really know what's going on. We don't know if they're cycling the uh, PCR tests too much so that this case, you know, maybe maybe it's not even happening. Maybe it's just a, a scare to get everybody to take the vaccine because obviously we've got to kind of um, reach the point in Australia, or at least in Victoria, where people have, if, if people who are really desperate for the vaccine have gone and got it, but it's still a lot of people who are not, I don't know what the exact figures are, but it's something like 60% of people still haven't got the vaccine, though just about anybody now can go get it. You know, it's been opened up to most age groups, uh, particularly uh, over 50s now. I think you can probably get it if you're desperate, if you're even younger. Um, so, you know, uh, there's a kind of definite vaccine hesitancy from a large part of the community. So something like this could be argued, could be a kind of psyop to scare people to rush down and get the vaccine. Um, you know, I mean, um, you know, that's uh, one of the reasons what could be happening. Of course, what could be happening could be real. I mean, maybe somebody from India, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, these quarantine hotels, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? First of all, why are we doing it in major cities? Why do we have these things in major cities? Why are they not in the middle of the Northern Territory? Someone has suggested that maybe that's going to happen in the near future, but they should be in the middle of nowhere and they should be for three weeks uh, and then, then you can come back, you know, because apparently this guy caught this, Whatever, whatever version of COVID he's got. I don't know. It's like, what is it now? It's like, you know, 2.0, 3.0. Bill Gates keeps changing it like Microsoft, you know, keeps building a new version of a new virus, you know, and, or a new antivirus. And um, so, you know, we don't know what version he's got, but apparently on the last day he got it, he brought it here. And, of course, immediately he hung out with his... It's, it's always an immigrant, by the way. This guy's obviously an Indian. Um, you know, before it was like uh, kind of like Middle Eastern security. And before that, obviously, people who first brought it here were obviously Chinese. So, you know, this is wonderful, you know, multiculturalism is delivering all this this um, life of lockdown that you're all enjoying so thoroughly. Um, so this is the wonders of diversity we continue to enjoy here in Australia. And um, so, you know, it's a complete nightmare. Uh, we, we don't know what to believe. Is it true? I mean, I'll tell you something. I've got a friend of mine over uh, in India, Emily McBurney, and she... Uh, She's been uh, she's dating a doctor over there in India, and she uh, she's been on ABC, and you know, and she does seem to be quite a legit person. She's a yoga instructor, and she's a very nice person. I've, I've know, known her from my nightclub days, and um, you know, I mean, it does seem what was happening in India was real, and it was pretty fucking nasty. Um, though, I mean, people dying, a lot of people dying and being burnt in the streets is not unusual for India. That's just normal. I've spoken to some Indian friends who have family over there, and they say, look. It's a little worse than normal, but not really that bad. But uh, to someone like Emily, I think she's been really shocked by it. And, and it does seem like something real has been going on there. So, I mean, you know, this is the strange thing about this whole crisis. And even myself, I mean, I, I've had a number of friends now who've had the vaccine. Um, you know, a female friend of mine has had the vaccine and she was fine. She was maybe sick the first day after it. My mother's had the vaccine. Uh, different relations have had the vaccine. So they seem to have had no effect, but in the negative side effect whatsoever from taking it. So, you know, I mean, I, I guess my default position is probably to question something like um, to be kind of open to what, what you call anti, anti-vax arguments. But then if, this, if the AstraZeneca one turns out to be safe, it's something that I may even consider, particularly if, you know, you're going to need it to travel. So it's just this, this whole nexus of ideas I wanted everyone to think about. And, um, you know, we are really in a strange event, you know, and, the thing that really turns me off about getting the vaccine is the way the elite so want us to take it. I've never known, um, you know, the, the elite class to so care about public health 
um, you know, to make everyone take something. You know, they don't, they don't care about our health. That's the facts. But they do really, really want us to take this vaccine, which makes that's actually the one fact that really turns me off the idea. And obviously, the main thing with the vaccines is what we don't know is the long term side effects. Um, say, for example, AstraZeneca, it doesn't seem to have too many um, negative side effects in the short term. It does in a very tiny percentage of cases cause blood clots in like 0. 0.00, you know, this to be insignificant. Um, but, um, you know, uh, you know, because millions of people have taken it. Obviously, I don't know how many have taken it in Australia, but it's probably a million. And um, there's millions of people have taken it in the UK. So it, it's only a, you hear about 20 or 30 cases of, of bad reactions. Well, that, that happens with any vaccine. There's going to be a, a bad reaction in a tiny minority of people. So, you know, I think we do need to really keep an open mind and we need to question our own um, views if we're, say, of the kind of people who believe in anti-vax or listen to anti-vax arguments or anti-vax, you know, memes and stuff. You know, uh, we do need to question it. Um, possibly something like the AstraZeneca is safe. We don't know. So, um, you know, we're, but here we are back in lockdown. And um, I don't know. We'll have to see how long it takes. Uh, there's, 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 we did have a short lockdown in Victoria about three or four months ago. It was only like five days. So uh, it does seem to be in a similar situation. So I hope to report back in a week and catch up with Tim Wilms uh, in person. And, and hopefully this will be over. But that's it. Report for Tiger Mountain this week. I just wanted to say that. I wanted to examine a few different things. And... Um, you know, just uh, also uh, one more thing I want to say is also the information has come out um, that the uh, the virus itself, the coronavirus, COVID-19, came out of the lab. I mean, this is something we've been saying at the report from Tiger Mountain from the beginning, from our first reports on it over a year ago. And uh, I know Tim Wilms has been saying it and many other people here have been shackled and also many other people all over from Donald Trump to many right wingers have said it's come from the bloody lab. It's the China virus. So that's something that's come out, you know, um, recently. It's even been linked to Dr. Fauci. So it's, again, all very suspicious, all something. Food for thought, stay awake. And, um, you know, we don't, we're not going to give them the great reset. We're going to give them the great awakening. And that's the report from Tiger Mountain.